And hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of Reconcile the Podcast. My name is Natalie. My name is Washera. And as per the title, the one I'll be talking about is purity just about sex. Tan tan. So, Washera, how are you? How are you feeling? Very tired. Very sleepy. But God is faithful. I mean, gonna say, I woke up with energy. Um, so I'm going to start with a quote. Does it? Okay, not really a quote. But it's just a statement. Maybe you think purity is something that you have when you're young and you lose it when you mess up. But in the Bible, purity is something that you go after. Purity is not something you lose when you mess up. Purity is something you gain as you grow in the Christian life. Hallelujah. I feel like, not I feel like, I know for a fact, growing up, I used to think virginity was purity. Because us, our church mothers, you one was a church mother, also. is, yeah, even me. My mother is a church mother. Mm-hmm. And all, like, growing up, all I knew was that, that virginity is purity. And when but it's all the day, you also. Yeah, like, once, like, you're impure, you're tainted, you're, you're, you're done. You're staying. Uh, never. Yeah, so, Washera, what do you think about purity and virginity? Oh, mm-hmm. um, I think also for me, for the longest time, I've always thought virginity and purity are like one and the same. Yeah, or interchangeable. Like, oh, you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But like that coming to Amanile, there's also secondary virginity where you like, you know, yes. there's so many um concepts uh-huh. and things around it. Uh-huh. But something that I am learning is that they're obviously very two different things. Yeah. And you're going to share something that says about yeah. G or what? Yeah. But about God. what? God, God, God. You're going to share you're going to share something, a quote, uh-huh. or do you call it a quote? Something. I said something, yeah, about virginity and purity. Mm-hmm. But for me, something that I am learning is that purity, first of all, it's not just about sexual. Mm-hmm. And that's how it's, that, that is the difference between virginity and purity. Mm-hmm. Virginity okay. is only limited to the sexual aspect. But and the physical. And the phys- uh, yeah. physical. Oh, true, true, yeah. true, true, true. Yeah. And then. Purity is of the mind, of the soul, of the heart, of the yeah. body. It is everything all around. Yeah, it's everything. Yeah. True, and true, then true. I don't think you can be pure. You, like you, you cannot. I can't call you pure mm. if you're pure mm. in body or something. I say in body. Like if you're pure in terms, you, you are. You've not defiled yourself or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like purity is all rounded. Uh-huh. In the point that you can't, like, you can't be pure of heart and mm-hmm. not be pure of body. Oh, that, that's very wise. That <laughs> comes slow, girl. That's very wishing for compliment. That's very subjective. Could I continue? Like, I feel like it's, it, it flows. It has to flow from somewhere. Like, you of cannot course. be, oh, when it comes to my body, I am pure, but my heart, I'm not pure. Purity of mind, I think about uh, I'm pure in mm-hmm. thoughts and I'm not pure in body, oh. or I'm pure in this, and like purity is all rounded. Oh yeah. And mm-hmm. when when we talk about pure, I feel like purity of heart. Mm. This might be controversial, mm-hmm. but purity of heart is more like takes a higher stand than mm-hmm. purity of body. For sure. Really? Because yeah. it, it is out of the purity of heart that mm. in Guinea flow. Mm. This is the verse that says, yeah. out of the uh, abundance uh, of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yeah, out of, out of your belly. Your heart, yes. you know, when you're belly, <laughs> not belly like belly. See, we know, like out of ukondani, see, things start flowing from inside. Mm. So you cannot, you can try or you can lie to yourself that you're pure mm-hmm. in terms of what you do, mm. actions and body and sex and all these things mm-hmm. but if your heart is not pure mm-hmm. you're not pure but how do you know your heart is pure but that's an innate to not jump the not, gun not jump the gun so what i had written was growing up it it felt like so this is purity and virginity mm-hmm. growing up it felt like it was one and the same thing as washera has said but it actually isn't i wrote virginity can be found in purity but you can miss purity in virginity. My dear Thomas, explain. 
Hey, your quote but I burudia ama what Um so what I mean by that is mm-hmm. and let me disclaimer this is not an attack mm-hmm. against all point all judgments. Yeah, I, now for the virgins cuz mm-hmm. you know it feels like oh my god in my god like oh yeah like, where, where it is actually the the bible where as we are pro yeah as in keep yourself keep yourself team mm-hmm. where in that nini yeah bus till married mm-hmm. yeah okay when we check up because yeah to was you was about bus oh oh yeah we are on that journey well, um so it's definitely not against where taboo keep yourself um so what I mean by that is, I can be a virgin, but I hate you. Does that still make me pure? You're not pure. I can be your virgin, mm-hmm. full of, full of, like, ah. Uh, every time I see Washera, ah, uh, like, ah. Uh, and I need boo, I must dream. Like, full of jealousy, full of what, 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 what. And for the longest time, I think because of culture and whatever we've grown, this other aspect of purity mm. is never talked about. Our parents want, to, we, and it's right, it is important that we keep ourselves still married. It's even in the word of mm. God. It's yeah. lit, and we stand by the word of God. Um, It is important that, yeah, so growing up, like it felt like as long as you 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 have not defiled yourself before marriage, then you're good to go. But if you're gossiping, if you're doing every other thing, like if you're, I don't know, watching pornography, if you're, if you're doing everything, these things that people don't see, like it's, it's, it's fine. It's yeah, still okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's as long as we're, well, like in your, as long as we're just in a moment. Because it's our, yeah. Which is not right. So, um, so what I had written was, virgin like purity is an umbrella word and then virginity can be found inside purity but purity is not i mean virginity is not an umbrella word cuz you can, as i've said you can be oh i've never i'm saving myself mm. till marriage but be the worst of the worst yeah. and i feel like imagine i feel like this is me and my personal experience it's easier for me to have to not have sex mm than to gossip oh it's easier for me to not have like this 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 nini this physical body like mm. in for me it's it is there. so much easier mm. to be like ah for real for real mm. i can keep myself till marriage mm. because i know the consequences like i know for sure i know how to be some point yeah yeah i don't but disappoint my parents mm. i don't want to be pregnant i don't want um to disappoint god yeah i don't want to let let me tell you a little bit God. I don't want to disappoint my parents because first of all, guys, my parents are my ma- my dad is a church elder. <laughs> um, anyway, you get you get the point. Yeah. So it's it's so easy for me to not have sex to keep yourself in that state physically, physically. But when it comes to purity of heart, no, that is another thing. Uh, and it is like the most important thing is a pure heart mm-hmm. rather than anything else because in Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 Hallelujah. God says the Bible says that blessed are the pure in heart for they shall, for they shall see God anyway you only may jump the gun so now we can get into our thoughts mm-hmm. do you want to start or I can start our thoughts on purity mm-hmm. after we've tackled pu- what we think about purity mm-hmm. and virginity um, my thoughts on purity mm-hmm. as, as I've said I feel like purity or heart is mm-hmm. more important of course, yeah, because Bible is law. Favorite verse, Elias mm-hmm. Psalms 24. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Who shall ascend the, the, hill, the hill, the mountain of the Lord? Mm-hmm. Who shall stand in its, his holy place? Mm-hmm. It is those with clean hands and a pure heart. Like, yeah. Bible emphasizes more on, yes, there's flee from sexual immorality. There's all these things against sexual immorality, which, yes, flee from sexual immorality. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, the pure in heart, like purity of heart is emphasized and for a reason. Because can I read this verse? Yeah. From Colossians 3 verse um, 5, it says, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of this, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways. You, you used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived. But now you must also rid yourselves of such 
things such of of all such things as this rage anger malice slander filthy language from your lips do not lie to each other blah 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 mm-hmm. like all these things that i'm reading like rage anger whatever whatever like all this i feel like these are all like forms of impurity mm-hmm. like when you gossip vermesema when you talked about um hate mm-hmm. anger like all these things are what um can be defined as forms of impurity and um another thing at nimekumbuka say like I feel like yes purity yes to me some it starts from within mm-hmm. but there's also the aspect of perversing your ear and eye gates that truly do does matter it does matter to how pure you are mm-hmm. like we to me some about pornography and whatever so you cannot be you know perversing your ear gates your eye gates by watching these things and you still think you're pure mm-hmm. like purity is it's very all rounded mm-hmm. eh? all rounded it's very all rounded like mm-hmm. yes from your from your body mind soul and your heart mm-hmm. and then there's the aspect of what you see what you listen to mm-hmm. and how those influence how pure you are mm-hmm. because the moment unaskiza even a song like economic sexual nini nini shaanza kufikira these things and for the longest also we used to think like sex is just sex Oh, yeah. Like on Germany, Christians sometimes we eat na kuangana mchezo. We like to say venye like you know, but when we say do not have sex. Mm. I think we've talked about this in another episode. Mm-hmm. But when we say do not have sex, but it just say ma ukishikana shikana hivi, hey, you want even buy, you know. Or he just say ma uki uki nini ukifikiria hivyo ni vibaya. But sin starts from you, what you think. That was you know, know me this was like Mm-hmm. proper it okay doesn't scare me mm-hmm. but it just makes me and yo was yeah like for jesus he came and then took us to an event like the law was here mm-hmm. jesus came and took us even higher mm-hmm. with that let me now the verse i want to give is that one in matthew mm-hmm. when jesus says just by you looking at a woman just by that not even i told you i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> yet it, maybe do. does that mean like huja umemwangalia you've not even thought about it, but umemwangalia ama is that no, like it's thought it, about it thought of, like in the mind just by you looking at person x and thinking Would about it, yes. <laughs> all those things mm. you've already it's crazy and you should can pervert and you don't pervert usha like usha usha fanya nika usha file usha file that's such a strong word na vinge uku squeeze to nakwanga be soft why uku mamba christianity hakuna soft that's and think we just me i was soft life but one thing i'm realizing christianity it's that that i na soft life like you gonna you go black and white i mean i go gray yeah i go black and white and i feel like it's very important for us to be and for this to be a space where we are actually calling things as they are mm-hmm. as the bible says like one thing god amekwa akini said to nione is like when he says that flee from sexual immorality it is just flee from sexual immorality yeah. it is not it's run but oh, let me join we can but you can do this when he when he likes when he, this is you <laughs> when god says this that let that be that let that be that for your life yeah because in, and visually i i saw a tiktok mm. the day mm. I feel like should not need it to digress mm. but I saw a TikTok the other day mm. where this person was like like kwani god na eh like ataki to enjoy oh yeah and god who are made to pair these things for a reason like for I mm. set his mm. rules for for a reason and once you start thinking about the consequences is on my soul ties na my shenanigans that follow people that the shame the shame imagine and sin zingine sometimes has nanga like consequences but most of them do have set and there's in a consequence even you have to be how only yes that's yes. that's actually it and kuna those visi will say mtu amek ame you you've had sex you're pregnant pregnant you've had sex you have you have stds mm-hmm. you um, like even some of them are psychological ume ume masturbate we fanya hizo zote you start agila kwa function you start oh feeling depressed oh ni ni you know 
and you like that woman was saying like it's not because god hates us at a to enjoy yes. sex like yes. he literally like imagine if he didn't want it yeah hange hange nini hange protecting yeah he, it is from a point of protection That's true. and love like i love you so much i don't want you to defile yourself yeah 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 and also i can only guess now but there's Ooh. also the aspect of oh. You've asked me this once before, like mm-hmm. why is why is impu- why is purity so important to God? Mm-hmm. I f- we don't have to answer that mm-hmm. now, but it's just a food for thought. Mm-hmm. It can you can go think about it. Like why is purity so important to God? But I guess because he's also pure. Mm-hmm. He's the devil. yeah. He is holy, righteous, pure, and he wants us to be like him. But mm-hmm. the aspect that I'm talking about is that one where we were like. If you do something and God forgives you mm. and he has mercy, if, like he has, he shows you mercy, mm. why then? Oh, you don't no. remember? Why? But see, what's the point? What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? Really point? God will you. forgive me. Yeah. yeah. What's the point? Oh, that's a, that is a, yeah. actually, that should be a topic. Mm, we can actually talk about it because, yeah, hey God, I'm going to drop some crazy, and, crazy revelations. Yeah. Yeah. We will talk, talk about it. About but it. as for now, just think about it. And, just there's a verse that we talked about in mm. another episode that says just because um grace me abound more doesn't mean you should see it. So in thought you're like ah yeah. so God only forgive. Yeah. So sinifanya no yeah. it should not be from that. It yeah. it in fact should drive us to be like, wow. Yeah. God has loved me so much. He just wants me close to him. That's how many pairs so much grace. Yeah. Anyway, food for thought, guys. Yeah. Yeah. The point of this conversation, I believe, is always to just we will never say everything because we don't know everything. Mm. But just to invite you to go and have the conversation with God Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. So when I think about purity, tell us, Madame. I feel like for us to live, let me let me read that. Up. For us to be truly concerned about purity, we must be concerned about where our affections and our devotion lies. We must consider how our thoughts and actions demonstrate that we are truly, uh, what we truly are devoted to whether it is this world or it is God. Um, I feel like why we struggle, I feel like the, even the Bible says that, I know the Bible says that it's, it's, it's first the natural, then the, super, the spirit. Mm. But I feel like there's also another scripture that says um, the spirit is what gives birth to the natural. Mm. And one of the reasons as to why I personally have ever struggled that you have ever I do struggle with um purity is because probably even my relationship with God kuna spiritual adultery. So explain it further. So mm-hmm. for example, uh I'm probably doubling like I want God, but I want the, I don't know if you've seen this meme, yeah. Ati Aki God, I want to take me deeper and then God is like then 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 what what does he say? Act like it. Mm. Have you seen those things on TikTok? Not TikTok. I've been seeing it on Instagram. Um. Anyway, point is, it is important that our 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 purity starts from the heart mm. before everything. And I am such a big believer that everything starts with God. Mm. Our purity walk, our purity journey starts with work. With activity with work with God. Um, something else that I wrote down uh-huh. is there's positional purity, mm. and then there's conditional purity. So okay. the moment that we get born again, mm. um, we are perfected. But this perfection is progressive. Like the moment Jesus died on the cross, He died for your sins, right? So now there's sanctification that happened in that moment. Mm-hmm. The sanctification that is ongoing. And even when Jesus Christ, um, when we see like at the end of the world, when we see God, there will like sanctification will happen in full effect. So I'm trying to bring a point. Same to victory. When Jesus Christ died, he we became victorious. But why is it that he doesn't reflect in our lives? Because it's progressive. And even now towards the end, like at the end of everything, victory will still like, Kutakwana, that final victory. The point that I'm trying to put across is because now I feel like my mind is everywhere. Um, it all starts in God and with God. So even with our purity work, you might not feel like 
oh my god i have made it or why am i struggling or whatever the bible says that i really love this verse that it's not by might not by power but by the spirit of god mm-hmm. everything begins god is the beginning the middle and the end everything starts with him so even for anybody right now who might be struggling with um oh my god i'm a christian but why am i struggling like why do i feel like this again it is the journey is progressive i think sometimes we usually see for me one of my favorite 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 people is stephanie gratzinger so for me i'd look at her and feel like oh okay yeah 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 she's like an angel on this earth as in i'm a fika mm. and then i forget she's also been through mm. a process she's been through um like we look at people and see the end product and yeah. forget that there is a journey mm. that they have they not they have they are walking with god mm. um so for anybody who might be struggling with feeling like ah like Connie what is eh koni ama what is the point as in god i keep on stumbling i keep on falling i keep on like i don't know my thoughts are not good my actions my everything like falling back into the sin yeah like i keep on trying to want to be better but i can't be better um it's just a reminder not by might not by power but by the spirit one day as i've said in previous episodes you'll just look back and then see wow where you have gotten through and yeah like how far you've come um the other thing and i think we'll always say this in literally every other episode mm-hmm. the word of god is so important for everybody who strive for all of us who are trying to walk um a pure journey mm-hmm. the bible says that um he washes us with his word mm-hmm. and i saw this somewhere that the scripture is like a bath it has a purifying inf- effect on you when you immerse yourself in it by hearing and putting it into practice when you hide scripture in your heart it has a purifying effect in your life that's and as we behold second corinthians the more we behold jesus the more again the more we are transformed into his pure likeness the more we become um pure in our thoughts the more we become pure in our actions the more we become pure in everything um that we do but i'd first started by saying spiritual adultery i feel like we cheat on god Do you feel like we cheat on God? We do. Cheating, cheating me in the aspect of like, no, no, God, okay. Wow, I give you my oil. It's like the Israelites. The best nini that I can mm-hmm. give is like, I know, okay, I want to give a, an example that is close to home, but let me start with the Israelites. Tell The Israelites, you see how they knew God, like they, they knew God, mm-hmm. but they still wanted to go to the gods that the other people had so that's um it just begins in god yeah yeah we do mm-hmm. then we do yeah because me, me it's not once i have told god he is my everything <laughs> and then i've told a guy he is my everything <laughs> and god is just sitting there like bro 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 like i thought i thought i thought what do you mean <laughs> anyway we definitely do and let's be in corners cuz there's someone mm-hmm. about Ananias and Sapphira and how they lied to the holy spirit and everything mm-hmm. and we am tell corners and apostle akikai i'm sorry apostle grace lupega was saying oh you am too apostle grace uh, he was talking about can i really remember like why is it that do you feel like do you feel like you have lied not lied like lied but do you feel like you have done what they have done in this like okay. uh, and i wonder why is it that they died instantly i don't know we'll read the bible yeah that's something to actually think about so um as we conclude natalie there's a verse that i want to share because i always like to like give a solution so that even as we talk about purity like my question would be like or a question that i'm imagining people are asking mm-hmm. is how do you keep yourself pure mm-hmm. And there's a verse that says in Psalms 119 verse 9 which says how can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word and that's the seed if you are denying it the bible says deny you deny yourself like deny your flesh die to self each and every single day and surrender like i feel like that is 
That is it. That's how you live in purity. I think the Bible. I feel like that's the only solution. The Bible. Yeah. Being a hearer and a doer. A doer of the Oh, it's a doer. I'm it's a doer. doer. It's a doer. Ah, even your associate knows one can doer. Oh. <laughs> Being a hearer and a doer of the words. Yeah. yeah. You don't just read the word. You live. You practice. You practice. Yeah. Bible like is a mafanya. Because sometimes maybe what you nataka kunini. Like, oh, Bible nasema, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, iyo unakanyage wadu nasema, God ni ome sema. But when it's time to look at the part where God is saying flee from sexually upo. Ukushuna sema flee. It's too hard, Lord. Ukushuna sema flee. Si, jog, ama walk, walk away from, si, toto is nini, spin. Is it a tatai? Is it a tatai? Um, whatever. Anyway, guys, um, we, before we close, I wanted to say that purity um, is not being perfect. Mm. And then it's, it's a process. See, we've said that yeah. already. It's not about you. I don't think God knows. Mm. That's why the Bible says we have a high priest who mm. can sympathize with us. Mm. He, I feel like God knows how hard it is to be a Christian. Mm. Yeah. It might not feel like it, but I feel like before even thinking about the solution, he knows how hard it is mm. to even just decide mm. to walk um, in purity. But the good thing is now that there's a solution. Mm. There's and he has availed the solution. That's the thing. Yeah. He has availed the solution to help us yeah. um, just just be like Jesus. Mm. Yeah. So it's not about perfection. Mm. It's just about us constantly surrendering to God and asking him, man, you have to help me. Because mm. it's hard. It's really, really hard. God, God is always going to answer yeah. his prayers. It's hard. So I come out, she's running and she's like, oh, and I told him, going to story. I put her in the spot, say. I'm a dream, your man. I don't know. It's nah. hard. But there's a solution. And another thing, we are not saying that God understands. Sindo. Yeah? We are not saying that God understands. Like, like, ah, uh, man, yeah, let me, God knows it's hard, so let me just. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, wait, wait. Not it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, we're not saying at it. I can just, like, I'm going to a free pass or like, ah, God on a journey hard, watch it to me. Oh, yeah. Right. God knows it's hard. That's why he has given us this, like, he has availed the grace and the material to literally try and live a pure life. But it's not God knows it's hard. So, at I lewa, I'll fight. Oh, see, it. my man died. Flee for my girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm saying so. I would just get to cry, but out. <laughs> but I do agree. Yeah. I do agree with you. Uh, you shared. I think this will be either before or after the episode where we talk about sin. You shared a verse, um, that after. says, "Yeah, after." This is the okay, sir. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> you will share. You will share. You shared a verse when you was where you said, "Okay, where the Bible says." That there is no temptation that we cannot overcome. Mm -hmm. uh, where am I yes. paraphrasing? Uh, First Corinthians 10, KJV, Natalie, uh, uh, NKV, Natalie Karanja version. At here, will you? Thank you, Jay. Natalie Karanja. Just in Mekata, in Mekata, in Let me see. Is it first or second? Second Corinthians, Basi. Oh, there's also another verse that says, there is no temptation that has come that is not common to man. Ooh, and yeah. God has not, like, in every, in every moment, honestly, Holy Spirit is always there just telling you, huh? Huh. I'm watching you. I'm looking at you. My pretty verse. No. It's Juni what, Corinthians? Oh, man, it's Juni what? 10 verse 12. Or is it 11, 12? I don't know. But it's okay, guys. We're also growing. Us, we are not mm -hmm. to judge. Mm -hmm. to judge stuff like that. We are growing. And I literally just talked about it the other day. I can't find it. Or is it? Okay, guys. Trashing up to after. But just go. It's about how. Let me just look for it. Um, because it got to upper. Okay. Yeah. Sec. First Corinthians ten, twelve. Can you see party ten, twelve to, thirteen. Which talks about if you let me read from NLT. If you think you are standing strong, be careful not to fall. 
The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. Yeah. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that yeah. you can endure. Yeah. That's the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's it. Again, we don't know everything. Yeah, that's just from the far that we have come. And yeah. The far that we... And also, as you said, Sumasama, that this is an invitation for them to yeah. just be like, okay, God, this is what they're saying. But do not also take what we're saying right. as as the standard. The Bible is the standard. So let that be just, oh, verse. let me go see. God, what are you saying about this verse? Is their interpretation and the revelation accurate? Mm-hmm. Because if we all have one Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. so it cannot be different. Mm-hmm. But yeah, guys, I feel like to Mama Lisa, how can a young man keep his way pure? Yeah. It is by living according to the word.